The Call of Duty Vanguard Platinum Trophy has 45 trophies and takes an average time of 50 hours to complete. But how can this even be attainable when the game runs like this? And like this? And doesn't track your trophy progress? And never giving you trophies that you have unlocked? Needless to say, this COD was hated by everyone for how bad it was. It brings me a lot of relief to say that literally nothing has changed and it still sucks and blows more than a widowed 30 year old. I can't express to you enough how much I hate this game, not only because it's bad, but because it's an actually broken game and a broken trophy list. Nearly all the zombie trophies are busted and don't track your kills making it impossible to get the trophy, unless you go into offline mode and get lucky and the game just gives it to you. Anyways, the other 40 trophies of the Platinum Challenge, however, are very fun if we are being honest. But again, much of them are broken, as you will see. We begin the journey into Nazi hell by launching the game, and I forget to record, but caught the first auto-pop trophy since I already have played the game on my PC account, leaving me with almost all the multiplayer trophies done. Thank the lord I don't have to play that again. I moved over to the campaign in order to play it on Veteran and receive the trophy for that, while attempting to go for all the side objectives within each mission. There is a total of two unique trophies per mission in this game, which can be super easy like getting run over by a tank, or super hard like having to avoid aimbot bullets being rained down at you within a very very tight passage. Oh, and bombs constantly also blow you up and send you into the bullets. Oh yeah, and there's also a dumb trophy for each operator you play as since this game's campaign is pretty much just a glorified character introduction. The first mission, all the jolly lads are on a train that we are attempting to hijack like any modern Mission Impossible movie. I get a trophy for shooting the driver of the truck carrying a few enemies and am pleasantly surprised at how easy that is. I forgot to mention I already got killed multiple times since this game's veteran difficulty is actually quite hard and for some reason took away hit markers which confused me greatly. Another trophy on this mission is to get on top of a train car and kill 15 enemies. However, it is broken and I didn't realize that until attempting it much, much later on recruit and having to do it for an hour straight just to randomly get it. We stop the train and get confronted with a ton of soldiers protecting the base they are in. Inside is lots of info that we need so we reluctantly kill dogs and feel no shame which is honestly disgusting. Vanguard devs wherever they are must have never watched a dog's purpose because that is a heinous act. I would honestly rather see Lizzo in person than have to kill dogs for fun in a game. That's what I'm saying. After dying many times like usual we reach the submarine in the base and die a little bit more my teammates are all supposed to be experts at what they do yet apparently none of them know when to shoot a charging nazi because they let this guy run at me screaming and kill me in cold blood thanks team shortly after we infiltrate a submarine that supposedly has our objective on it a son of a bitch throws a grenade inside it and we all get captured and i even died I guess I wasn't the main character after all. The boys in that baddie Polina get thrown into a cell after being interrogated in a dock in the middle of the night by a racist white man. But I look at this monkey. We have a flashback, which is how this game does the missions for some odd f***ing reason I can't discover yet. Anyways, it's Arthur's turn on the hot plate since he is the quote unquote leader of the group. We find ourselves alone in the forest, much like he probably has been his whole life with that dry ass personality and dick suckers he got for lips. After touching a few men sexually with a pointy tip, I find myself in a basement and can't find the kids I stashed. But the enemies above me somehow see me with their superhuman x-ray vision and it's all out chaos. Surprisingly enough, I didn't die a single time in this fight but it was still hard as hell. Just like a middle school whenever Margot Robbie comes on the screen. We regroup with our allies and this is the first chance you have to order around everyone like the boss we think we are, even though Arthur definitely likes it in the butt. You get a trophy for bossing around everyone after 15 different commands, which I did by just spamming orders in combat over and over. After getting ambushed all night by enemy soldiers with thick and thin mustaches, we finally see daytime, which is something I never thought we would see again in such a COD game. Arthur likes to abuse his power and decides it's a smart idea to send every single troop out into the middle of an open field so they can all get mowed down by machine gun turrets. Thankfully, I stepped in and threw a smoke grenade to save them from internal damnation. Also, I got a trophy, which is the real reason why I did it. A little bit later, we end up in a COD horror game, which could honestly be an awesome campaign idea for them in the future. Like, imagine a campaign where it's ultra-realistic and just scares you the whole time. I would indeed be intrigued. But they would probably find a way to fuck it up, so never mind on second thought. Philip Evans, my new best friend, gets jumped constantly by white supremacists, and I save his white ass two times in a row for a trophy. The grenade I picked up to save Philip, however, blew up in my hands, and I got a trophy for it also. Not sure if that qualifies as suicide or not. I'll have to ask the blue haired girl at school tomorrow. Bruh. We accomplish our mission, but we see the big boy leader die, which I laughed at since he was weird anyway. After a nice six minutes of cutscenes that I wish I could have skipped since it's all filler time anyway, we end up with tits in a vagina and play as Polina. At least I hope she has a vagina.
Oh my god. It's always nice to see a wholesome moment in COD, and what could be more wholesome than a family meeting with Papa, Sister, and Brother? Such a nice family, I sure hope they don't all die. Oh god. But before Papa died, I stole ammo from a lot of soldiers and got a trophy for being a thief, just like how Biden robbed the election. For some reason, there's a weird trophy for popping out of a vent fast, and it's starting to annoy me how much these COD campaign love their damn vents. Like seriously, this isn't Among Us. I can't even tap pink whenever I want to. Hey yo! 15 guns sounds like a lot, but this trophy was shockingly easy and I got it without really even trying to use that many guns. And I'm kind of thinking I didn't and it just gave it to me anyway, but I can't complain since this game has some of the most messed up trophies I've ever seen. On a side note, however, this part of the mission sucked because Veteran makes it so the enemy basically has a lock on you at all times, and I died more here than I probably should have. But it was so bad I needed to put all these in the video so I can feel justified with my efforts. Our brother has severe PTSD and is lost in his mind. He can't find his way around the room he has just been captured in, but suggests we climb up a pipe so we can go save the world from out of style mustache man. I got onto the roof and I didn't miss a single bullet giving me a trophy for being so goddamn sexy. After playing through so many COD campaigns, I've actually gotten decent on the controller and I'm low-key proud of how gaping of a hole I can leave in the enemy butts now. Before doing risky activities with them, however, I tried to get a trophy for throwing a Molotov onto a half bag truck and this trophy has got to be the most blatantly obvious broken one in the entire game. Like I threw it onto it and nothing happened. So I did it again and 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 again. Shut the fuck. Then it finally popped. That was a perfect example of the pain in this platinum trophy. Like the sh is just broken half the time. Anyway, we move on to our American brother, Wade Jackson, the same guy who has two first names as his name. Not surprising, he flies planes and loves shooting guns. The Battle of Midway mission is honestly not bad, but I was just so bad at flying the plane, I kind of had a mental breakdown and switched to keyboard and mouse, only to find out that didn't work for whatever reason, so I switched back to control. This mission is one of the hardest trophies in COD, if we were being honest. Don't get hit by a single bullet when dropping a bomb and being shot at for 2,000 meters straight in the face. Oh my god! Now, I didn't really try this on Veteran because I realized immediately how hard that would be, but I did get a trophy for helping out my ally planes and preventing them from going to Valhalla too soon. Like any good COD game, they throw us into Vietnam and we force a bunch of rice farmers to sign up for the war so we can kill them all in quick fashion. Except I tried to turn a new leaf today, and not just because we were in the forest. I didn't kill a single person or use my gun and made it all the way to my boyfriend deep in the forest so I could get a trophy. It's not gay, it's homosexual. Dude. Wade's special ability is he can slow down time like the Flash for some odd reason. And he can also see people through trees, which is totally unrealistic, but then again, Snoop Dogg was in this game, so I don't even know what's going on anymore. We take out a sniper before he can even get a shot off, which is obviously a fair fight. I killed 15 enemies with his special ability, and then we swapped over to Polina, and I sniped a ton of men like she is used to doing. I've noticed as I play through all these COD games, there's always a super heavy enemy that requires rounds upon rounds to get put into them before they die. And Vanguard's has this really weird ass one with a dumb name, and they of course have to have him throw down gas to keep up with the store for accuracy. We kill it, and I bust it in my pants. I'm not kidding. Ah, the Behind You Trophy. An absolute masterclass in COD trophies, and one of the most annoying I have ever done. You have to do takedowns only on every soldier, and there's around 50 of them, including two of the heavy guys. I honestly don't think the difficulty really matters on this one, because no matter what you do, once you're caught, you're basically just f***ed. I tried for over an hour on Veteran and got so damn close, but eventually just said f*** it. I can't anymore, and shot the last few guys. This trophy really gave me cancer, and I was so mad when I had to come back and do the whole mission again just to suffer as much and still spend an hour doing it on recruit. But I finally did it and was so shocked I got it because I f***ed up so much during this. Like, I can't show you it all, but just imagine me running around being chased by a horny man for 25 minutes. That's basically how it went. Finally, we get to play as Lucas Riggs, the last operator we have yet to get the pleasure of meeting. He has no special powers except for his ability to carry a lot of grenades, which honestly, Anyone could do that if they weren't a lazy f This mission has the easiest stealth I have ever seen in the COD campaign, especially when playing on Veteran. We basically just walked 200 meters down a straight path and ended up out of the stealth mission for a trophy without being caught. I'm still shocked at how easy it is. At the final objective of the mission, I throw a ton of bombs down in a desperate attempt to get these 10 second C4 charges to kill an idiot before they realize it's there. This was actually a lot harder than I thought because the enemy would just walk away since the charges take so long to blow up, but I finally got it and was so happy. We blow up all the tanks, ammo, and fuel the poor enemy has left after our constant harassment, 
and then a plane comes from heaven and I try to hit it with a rocket launcher. After failing numerous times and nearly dying like my dog, I managed to hit it and was blessed with yet again another trophy. The war recruiters failed to give me a proper psychological exam, so I killed myself after I couldn't handle the war anymore. Our buddy Des Williams, who looks like he doesn't have enough chrome zones, challenges us to a kill race and we have to double his score to beat him, which I did first try because I am so goddamn good at video games. However, Des isn't and gets shot to death, which might be why I won, but I'll still take it. After Des dies, we escape prison and are for the first time since the intro to the game actually in the present with the whole squad. We begin playing as Arthur and I tell all the operators we just played as to sacrifice their life for Pakistan and distract the heavy soldier so I can kill it without dying again. This whole game we have been after one guy, Steiner, which you honestly forget because we almost never hear about him except in this mission, and Lord occasionally when playing as Polina since she fucking hates we that must. guy. But anyways, we capture him at the very end of the game after going through all his defenses and many, many tanks. Ending his life and this game off with a burn because it was so fire. Just kidding, I hate this game with a passion and want it to be wiped from society. That would be the only justifiable outcome. We received the game completion trophy and the veteran one, but before we can go finish up trophies we missed, you have to watch the entire campaign and game credit which are 20 minutes long of just text rolling. Whoever made this game and did that trophies for it should be fired because this is just f***ing retarded. Like, seriously, what is even that? I went back and finished up a few I missed, which were honestly mostly all broken, but some I just didn't do, like running through a wall five times because that was Polina, and apparently she does that for fun. I revisited the Battle of Midway Bombing Trophy, and Lord have mercy, this took me a serious and factual 50 straight minutes of diving up and down and up and down until I finally did it, and holy sh**. If it wasn't 2 a.m. when I got this trophy, I would have lost it because of how happy I was when I got it. And that was the entire campaign completed. So I went over to multiplayer and joined a random apps clan for that trophy, and then did a few simple things in zombies, which for some reason tracked over from when I played on PC before. But Lord have mercy, the kills sure as hell did it. I spent over three hours in zombies without receiving a single trophy for any kill count. You need 10,000 kills total and 2,500 pack a punch kills with a tier three gun. Now the 10,000 I'm not sure if I have reached before because I can't remember how much I played it on PC. But the pack a punch should have definitely worked seeing as I literally got more than 2,500 and received nothing. I also tried to do ring of fire trophy and got 50 kills with it when you only need 10 and still nothing popped up. So I abandoned the game and deleted it and was gonna just post this video without getting the last few trophies cause well, they're broken. But I came back a few hours later and realized that I needed to suffer through this game for you person watching this video. Yes, you were the reason I spent another seven hours in zombies attempting to get these broken trophies. But thanks for watching and why don't you go drop a like and subscribe for my suffering. So according to many online sources, you have to go into offline mode in order to get most zombie trophies. Now I thought this was just BS at first, but once I got the ring of fire and energy mine trophies first try, I realized it was Legit. And since I was in offline mode, you can also change your class throughout and, you, and it actually changes, unlike the real version or whatever. So I decided to buckle in and suffer through the game once more. I pack a punch my shotgun to max level and even found a ray gun just sitting on the floor after being dropped from one of the zombies I killed which is honestly insane luck. After literally two hours of shooting enemies in the default zombies map, I received the Pack-a-Punch tier three trophy, and it was over a thousand kills late. It's supposed to pop after 2,500 kills, with a tier three gun, obviously, but mine popped over 3,500 kills. Now I know this because I took a picture of it on my phone so I could track it, and it, it's very depressing when you realize it's just, it's just not working again. But I got it, and I guess I felt good. I still don't know what the f*** it is tracking or not tracking, or if it's honestly just testing my willpower to preserve. I remember chasing after a girl in school for three years and never actually dating her. That single moment in my life prepared me for this sh to never give up. And boy oh boy did I take that to the max today. Because after another three hours of shooting zombies, getting to around 13,000 kills all in offline mode, I finally got the trophy pop for the last zombie trophy where you need 10,000 kills. So I did an extra 3,000 which took forever. But I did get the Platinum for Call of Duty Vanguard, and if I'm being honest, it felt amazing. And this is a trophy that I'm genuinely proud of just because of how broken it is. But lord have mercy was this trophy the most annoying one yet. Drop a like and subscribe for more, and comment what Platinum game I should do next.